For today's video, I'm finally doing my long-awaited Evil Tooth Fairy look. I wanted to do something which drew a little bit more on the Brother Grimm type fairy tales because I think a lot of people see characters like the Tooth Fairy or Sleeping Beauty or Snow White and they don't realise that the origins are actually very, very quite dark. So I kind of wanted to take that idea and run with it and turn the Tooth Fairy from something which is considered quite cute and sweet and turn it into something quite horrific that sneaks into your room at night and will sometimes forcibly remove those teeth because it doesn't have any teeth of its own and it's jealous. You know, nightmare fuel, my kind of videos basically. Now some of you will have seen that this is going to be my last makeup tutorial for a while. If you haven't seen my explanation video for that, I will have that linked in the description box. It's the last video that I uploaded before this one. So that will kind of explain it more in detail. I don't really want to cover it in today's video. I've already explained it. But if you still want to watch my videos, and I will still be doing makeup tutorials, but they just won't be this style, I'll be doing that over on my new channel, which I'll have linked down in the description box. But long story short is I just need a break. I need a few years to get my health back, and then we will see what happens. I have plans, but I know better than to make any plans at this point because everything tends to not go the way I planned it. So. I'm winging it and I am making some changes. So if you want to see my new content after this video, I'll have all of that linked down in the description box. But anyway, back to the makeup tutorial. I want to add some veining around the eyes and as you can see, I have used some rigid collodion and this is what you use to make scars on the skin. And the idea I wanted with this character is that it's quite a sneaky, nasty character. It will sneak into people's rooms and try and take their teeth. And sometimes those people have fought back, which is why I want those little teeth marks on the forehead, scratches. And I also, with the crown that I made for this character, I wanted to kind of imply that this is a character that is very, very old. It's been collecting teeth for a very long time. And such a long time that it actually has arrowheads, Stone Age arrowheads, stuck into the tooth crown that it wears. So this is something that is very old and has been harassing people for their teeth for a very long time. And that's what I wanted to build into the face with the makeup. Just underneath the lashes, I'm going to be adding a dark purple cream and then blending that out with a blending brush. Now for the lips, you could use any kind of lipstick or lip gloss if that's what you have. What I'm gonna be using is a few different red food colorings. I have a very bright red, which is what I'm using now, and I'm gonna be applying this with a cotton bud just because it's easier to apply and it's a bit more hygienic. And frankly, I've lost my lip brush, so I don't know where that is. I used what I had, and I'm gonna be putting that around the lips and applying it quite messily before adding a few strands with the hair. Now, the eyes are quite fun because it's really quite hard to mess up. You're going to be using a black cream. Now, for this, you can use any kind of gel eyeliner. That would work as well if you want to get that very intense black. But I'm using one which isn't super, super pigmented so that I can layer it. And it looks like something that's been worn over time and it's just gradually gone raccoon-eyed. So just imagine the worst night out, but just going over a couple of centuries where that black has been reapplied and reapplied and just started to spread around the face. If you want to, you can also drag that color down just to give a slight lash line effect. Use your fingers if you want to, or a brush, and keep layering those colors after you've been moving your face a bit so that you get a lot of creasing and make it look rough, basically. Now, the next part, what I want to do is add some tallies. The idea I had is that sometimes a tooth fairy collects these teeth, but maybe she loses them and she wants to keep a record of how many teeth she's been collecting. So I thought I would just have a tally system. And so she has these lines on her face where she marks into her skin the teeth that she's collected over time. Now for the lips, I'm gonna be going over with some dark colors and drawing lines down. Here, if you want to, you could use some lip liner, but what I used is a bruise wheel so that I could get that dark purple that's going to make everything look very swollen, infected, and just nasty in general. Then over the eyes, what I'm going to be doing is adding a little bit of sparkle because you guys know that I like my glitter. So I'm going to be going over that with a very dark green, dragging that color down a little bit. This one is purely just because I wanted glitter. It doesn't really make sense for a tooth fairy, especially something this old, to have something this sparkly on the face, but I like my glitter, so I did it. After that, I want to add more marks, so more tallies, and then I also want to add marks along the face, which are meant to represent how the tooth fairy feels about herself. So the two dots on the up and the bottom of the lip, up, on the top of the lip and the bottom of the lip, are meant to symbolize that the lips are just kept closed. They're never opened because then it would display the lack of teeth. 
I want a tooth-like symbol just underneath at the bottom of the neck, more lines along the collarbone, and then maybe some red lines to symbolize a toothless gum. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to have that white marking is that those represent the teeth. There's still more tallies across the face. And then I'm also gonna take food coloring, which does taste disgusting, and put it all over my teeth just in case they show up because I want it to look like there aren't any teeth. So I'm gonna take the darkest color that I have, add some blood on my fingers, finish off with my evil tooth fairy crown, and that's it, I'm done.